Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. How crazy is it that we're already in March? This year is going faster than the speed of light. And don't even get me started on the weather. Well, that it just doesn't even know when what to do and make its mind up. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another rate or hate video where we are discussing our February empties. And so first up we have got this product. Are you surprised? Probably not, because I'm not. We have got the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Ample. Yes, she is empty, but I fear not, because I've got a 100ml size of this ready and raring to crack open. This is incredible, and I absolutely rate this, and you guys know that I absolutely rate this product, and I know so many of you love it as well. It is incredible. It only features 100% Centella Asiatica extract in here as well. You guys know how much I love Skin 104, especially their Madagascar Centella line. Their soothing cream, this ampoule. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking this out. Um, it's got 100% pure Centella Asiatica extract, so really, really fantastic at hydration, but also soothing the irritated and inflamed skin. This is just like, you just put it onto your skin, right? A full pipette, yeah, I'm very generous with this. A full pipette and it just soaks and you can just kind of like feel your skin going, ah. <laughs> you know what? Like irritated, inflamed skin is just kind of like, Zend out. And it just takes all the boxes for me in terms of the packaging, the brand and sort of their focus on ethically sourcing the Centella Asiatica. Just really being a fantastic, really innovative brand. And of course it's Korean skincare, so what else can you not love about this brand? Um, so yeah, I'll link it down below. And then moving on, we've got a hair care product. And this is the Dr. Sarah Call Scalp DX Scaling Shampoo. I definitely made a pledge last year to feature more body care and more hair care products in my videos this year and definitely I've been on a journey with my hair care and my scalp for the longest time ever ever since I can remember from probably like we're going talking like early stages of high school where I started with scalp psoriasis and I've had dandruff many many times I suffer with really coarse really fine hair which is actually really thick at the back but yeah it's really not there at the front which yeah i also suffer with kind of like itchiness and, and scaliness and flakiness and i personally have previously had to wash my hair every single day because it gets so itchy by the evening i'm just like oh my god like i need to just i need to do something i just have used countless countless uh, anti-dandruff shampoos that are incredibly drying to the skin and to the scalp to the hair <laughs> um and it just doesn't help with my symptoms at all. Well, it kind of helps for like two weeks and then I just have all the same problems again. So yeah, it's been a definitely a huge, huge journey until this product came into my life. So I was gifted this in like late autumn time or something like that. And I just thought, you know what? Give it a go. What can you lose? with this. And oh my goodness, from the first use, my hair felt so glossy, felt so like nourished and hydrated. And it was kind of like that two in one shampoo conditioner. It kind of got that, you know, gave that feeling of, um, you know, silky, luscious locks, but yet it was targeting the dryness and the flakiness of my hair and my scalp as well, which I thought was just a win-win situation. And over time I was using it, I was experiencing less flakiness, less dandruffiness, and it just remained really hydrated and really healthy, my scalp. And then I kind of went on to using it every other day and I was just like, oh, this is amazing. Uh, this is amazing. So yeah, very, very sad that this has been empty because it has lasted me a very long time, actually. It's 500 mils and it comes in this incredible pump style bottle, which is perfect and so efficient and, and suitable for the shower. Um, but yeah, really sad that this is actually over. But again, another standout product from Dr. Zerical. Who knew? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I would rate that shampoo if you didn't guess. Anyway, we're moving on to a product that I hate now, and this is, unfortunately, I know it's a shame because I do love this brand, but it is the Body Shop Chamomile Dissolve the Day Makeup Cleansing Oil. 
I just, I don't know about this one. I really do want to try their chamomile cleansing balm. That is obviously an infamous product for a reason and I really do want to get my hands on that and try it out. Um, because, you know, a cleansing balm has to be a sensorial experience. I don't mind if there's a slight fragrance in there. Um, it's all about kind of, you know, removing the the day, isn't it? It's dissolving the day, which this says. The cleansing oil was a new launch to their chamomile cleansing balm edition. And I just have to say that I was really kind of disappointed by this. I just felt like it wasn't, it just wasn't emulsifying very well for me in terms of, you know, that cleansing step. I, that, and that's probably why I prefer cleansing bars because again, like I said, it's that sensorial experience that I enjoy. And with cleansing oils, I just kind of feel that like that lacks that experience ever so slightly and um, as you can see the the label is kind of like peeling off it just looks a bit shoddy and a bit shabby and yeah it just overall it just wasn't a great experience for me yes it did take the SPF off but again it's the experience that comes to mind so yeah I definitely hate this product it hates a strong word but you know I don't like it at all <laughs> oh oh god I should have put those uh, skincare products a lot closer to me. <laughs> just nearly brought my back. Anyway, we've got three products left for Read or Hate in February. We've got two cleansers and an SPF. So the first cleanser, we have got the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser, which is actually a relatively new launch. Um, it got released, I think it was on New Year's Day, with the Amiga Water Cream. And of course, they have just released their Mandelic Acid Treatment product. But this hyaluronic acid cleanser, I've been tanning the hell out, of, hell out of it. It has lasted me only two months, but it has been incredible. I'd probably go as far to say that this is my favourite cleanser from the Inca list. Yes, I love the fulvic acid brightening cleanser. Yes, I love the salicylic acid cleanser. The oak cleansing balm is okay but I really have thoroughly enjoyed this product. It's got the likes of glycerin in there, betaine, sodium hyaluronate, and also hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate as well. So of course it's gonna whack that hydration into the skin, but yet this really does lather up really nicely. It doesn't strip the skin, leaving it feeling dry or irritated. And it just does a great job in sort of like prepping your skin for a absolutely wonderful, wonderful routine ahead. It's a no fuss cleanser, but it does the job and it's affordable. So yeah, what's not to love about it? And then up next, we have got the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. This, chef's kiss. In, amazing, impeccable, delightful, incredible. <laughs> it really truly is a brilliant, brilliant cleansing balm. Up there in one of my favorite cleansing balms ever because um, yes, it takes the SPF, it takes the light makeup, it takes all the dirt, the grime off the skin without kind of feeling like there's that layer left on the skin but it emulsifies so, so well. Like, oh my goodness. I don't think I've met a cleansing balm that emulsifies so well as this. It is unbelievable. And like I said before at the beginning of the video, it's all about that experience with a cleansing balm. You want that emulsifying sort of like, you know, consistency. You want it to take off the SPF, the makeup, but you also want your skin to feel refreshed and clean and and just well nourished as well. And this is what it absolutely does. It is just so, so good. And the price point is incredible. Of course, you can find it on the likes of Yes Style and also Style Varna as well. Um, but just such a blooming, wonderful product. A product that I would repurchase all the time again and again and again. And then finally, we are finishing off with an SPF. And I was actually so, so, so close to finish off the Beauty of Joseon SPF, but that'll definitely come in the March Rate or Hate video. However, we have got the Garnier Amber Solaire Anti-Age Super UV Hyaluronic Acid SPF. What a bloody mouthful. But um, I don't know how many times I've purchased this now, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five times. Um, this is such a good product. It's just such a shame that it's not 
in a bigger size. It's only in 50 mils. They'd need to do this in 100 mils. I would pay double the price. It's just such a great product. Um, it doesn't pill on the skin. It doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't leave you feeling greasy or heavy on the skin. It blends so, so well. And of course, it's got that fantastic SPF protection value as well. And you'd recognize the sister product, which is the one with glycerin. And of course, they've got their um, ultra fluid UV anti-pollution one, which is equally as good. But yeah, this is just absolutely perfect for like your colder, winter, drier months of the year, because it just provides a little bit of richness and, and thickness just to kind of keep the skin more nourished than say like a lightweight, runny, fluid version what to do. And so those are all of my February empties and one hate and the rest are rate. So yeah, I've really enjoyed using those skincare products. I am very sad that they're over, but of course I'm going to be repurchasing them and of course I've got backups. Uh, ready and round to be open so yeah <laughs> I'm not too sad <laughs> but please do let me know down in the comments what products have you emptied last month in February uh, what are you going to be repurchasing or what you've kind of just been like ugh no thanks so yeah thank you so so much for watching I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you next week for a brand new video see you later bye bye